And remember the next time that you look at a valley, just think about how the river cut through the rock layers. All right, for the last bit of class, we're gonna start on our next project. Who remembered to bring their rock samples that they collected during break with them? Wonderful, let's bring them on out. I'll be glad not to lug this thing around anymore. I just wanted to make sure it was big enough. I think it's big enough. Talk to the person next to you and share your observations. Oh, wow, your rock has a lot of really shiny grains. Mine doesn't have that. Yeah, I can see that too. You also have a lot of very fine-sized grains. Where'd you find it? The Great Plains, back home in Nebraska. Here's a picture of the hill where I found it. Huh, where's the hill? That's it, right there. Huh. Yeah, it's pretty. Where's your rock from? Oh, I got it while hiking the Rockies in Colorado. And I found it right about here. Wow. OK, now I see why my hill didn't seem so tall to you. <laughs> All right, report back. What did your groups discover about their samples? Some of the rocks are a lighter color, while some are dark. I noticed mine had a lot of light and dark colors in it. Any ideas why we might be seeing multiple colors in one rock? Yes, Nadir. Well, rocks are made up of one or more minerals, so multiple colors probably means it's made up of different minerals. Indeed. Geologists can tell a lot about the formation a rock comes from by finding out what minerals make it up. Yes, Corey. How can they tell what minerals make it up? That's a great question, and that's what we're going to investigate in our next project. Everyone bag and label their rocks and put them in that box on their way out. <laughs> I'm going to analyze each of your samples to get data about their mineral composition. And at the next class, we will review the data sets and pick a few to investigate further. Maybe the table. You're probably right. I've analyzed your rock samples, and I have them up here for you all to pick up after class. All the rocks were from different locations, but two of them had a surprisingly similar composition of minerals. Hey, those are ours. How can they be similar? It looks so different. Even though these two rocks were from 200 miles apart and from totally different areas, they have almost the same amount and types of minerals. Can anybody tell me how this could be possible? Uh, maybe after the rock formed, something separated them. Yes, Corey. Or maybe the rocks formed separately, and then the minerals from the older rock became a part of the younger rock? Great idea. Mm, but which one of us is right? Well, that's for you all to figure out. For your next project, I want all of you to investigate how a formation from the Rocky Mountains and one from the Great Plains can appear so different, but have similar mineral compositions. And I'll be happy to give this back to you, Corey. <laughs>